Our attention back to power issues here on ENCA. Soweto residents say they've had it with erratic electricity supply. Uh, residents in Pimville and Clipsprate have now vowed to shut down the local ESCOM offices this morning. There for us on the scene in Kubile Matlala. Uh, they with the latest for us. Hello to you in Kubile, but this is nothing new in both of these areas uh, at all. So what are the residents hoping to do that's going to be different this time around? Good morning, Gareth. Yes, indeed. The residents have joined us, as you can see, some of the leaders just speaking to the residents. But the idea today, Gareth, is to try and get those answers that they've been looking for. We understand that a couple of communities in this area have now been without electricity for quite some time. I'm going to ask some of the leaders just to speak to us so that we have an idea exactly um, what is the inspiration behind what they're doing. Um, Baba, let me just bring you in. So, so give us an idea why is it that you have decided to now um, blockade the streets and, and, and block the ESCOM offices this morning? Actually we are not blocking anything. We are here to negotiate with ESCOM. This is not a match to block streets or whatsoever. No, no, no. We are here to talk to ESCOM because of ESCOM in Pimville we have got five, five places that they don't have boxes for two years. Like for instance, you see, you see these papers, the, the community has paid ESCOM 80,000 rand for one year, two months, they don't have electricity. This is only a one part of a certain zone, zone one. They don't have electricity. So now tell me, when sent in there, where there is no electricity, why must the black child suffer? Why must we avoid then we come and suffer like we are suffering now? I mean, we are suffering. Look, look you can see all people, the others are still coming because of the, we are suffering. It's not only people, let me tell you something. The whole of the we got about 42 places that don't have boxes around so here to do understand. I don't want to talk about but I'm talking about from what I know. Let's talk about these boxes. Are you talking about transformers and what is the situation and that why yes, are, don't you have transformers? These transformers are old, my sister. These transformers, they, they, they were put here in 1982. So you count from since 1982 till now. They've never, they have never, I'm telling you, maintained by ESCOM, never. And uh, people, they must know, I think that our government, they only fear free forum. They will see for the first time, we will take them to court as much as our forum is doing. We will do that as well as the black child. We are, we are sick and tired, James Oak. Why must we suffer like this? Look, I am here with you since in the morning. It's cold. Look at the sister here. She can tell you, two years, they don't have electricity, and they paid 90 to 80,000 to ESCOM. To, I mean, they complied everything with ESCOM. Do you feel ESCOM is not working with the community? Let me tell you something. Look, for instance, now we are here. I'm telling you, it will be 8, 9, 10. You'll never find any person from ESCOM who's going to come here. Uh, the employees of ESCOM are not working. They are working at home, uh, but they are, they are getting paid in a public bank. They are getting paid, they are, they are buying their clothes in the public shops, and uh, they are paying booze in the public, uh, public public stores. But they are not at work. They will tell you about COVID. There's no COVID here. But they are not working, so we, we're not getting any assistance from ESCOM. I've never seen such a useless department like ESCOM, I'm telling you. So then, um, if you bring in the community here, what are you hoping to get then out of this? We're hoping that they must come. They must give us the box. They said they've got 20 boxes here. They must give us five here in Pimville and go and distribute somewhere in, around Soweto. So they must make sure that they deliver to us. We deliver them. We put them in office. We, 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 didn't, we, we voted. Didn't you vote, guys? Yeah. Yeah, we voted, all of us, for them that there must be an office. They are sitting there with our vote doing nothing. Have you seen the stomach of Kwame Mandashi? Yeah. Have you seen how big is he? Huh? And look at him when he was in office. Yeah. You can see how Kwame Mandashi was now. He's like this because of our votes. Yeah, so we are sick and tired of this. So where to? It's tired. And we are coming on the 21s again. And if they don't speak to you today, what happens? We'll come back again. We'll keep on knocking. We'll keep on. They will come to us. Trust me. Wait and see. The, I mean, the, the, the CEO must know now what is happening. Go to any, I'm telling you, around so at any depot of, of, of ESCOM. Deep to midway. They are not there. They are not working. But they are getting paid with our money. Those people, they are sitting at home, they are, they are getting paid with our man. We are so furious about them. I, I mean, as the lady, how many times have you been here? We have been here, this is the tenth time we are here. We will come back again. Do you understand? We will come back again. We are sick and tired. The, so, it's better it goes. Let them give us another energy company. Let ESCOM go and let them give us another energy. I mean, all over the country, people are complaining with ESCOM. What's wrong with ESCOM? Uh, is, it a, is it a gorilla or something that you must fear?
No, this is our country. We voted for this country. And I'm telling you, let me tell you something. Go and look at these undocumented foreigners that are having sharks around them. They've got electricity and they don't pay for it. Undocumented foreigners, they've got. Go to these squatter camps, you find those uh, 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 undocumented foreigners. They've got electricity. But we, the taxpayers, we don't have it at all. Well, we'll speak to you much later on, Mama, just to hear those problems that the leaders have highlighted. Well, Gareth, as you can hear, that quite a lot of frustration from some of these leaders. Isn't They're it, saying that it? they've got papers there, as you can see, the lady saying that over 80,000 has already been paid to ESCOM, but they're very clear, of course, that they're going to keep coming until they get um, that conversation started and that they get those transformers um, that they, they believe at this point is the only way and the only answer in order for them to get electricity back. So, of course, we'll speak to some of the people that are affected on the ground, especially that lady that has the papers. So, yeah, how she has been affected and what sort of help she needs. Yeah, the residents are clearly... Uh, fed up. They've had enough. We're going to go back to you again later in Kubila Matlala uh, and get more thoughts from the community about why they don't have electricity.